Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are an actor, a coach, or an educator that is producing video content and you need a way to get that content to your audience, then this video is going to be for you. I'm going to take you through all of the basics step by step to create your YouTube channel, to get your settings all going, and to customize it the way you want. I'm also going to show you how to upload a video. So this is a great video for or someone that's a beginner that really wants to understand how YouTube works, how it functions, how to customize your channel so that you can deliver content to your students, to your clients, to the world, your audience. So if you wanna check it out, join me. Let's jump in right into my computer. But first, if this is your first time, our first time meeting, hi, I'm Ashley Espinosa. I am an actor, an educator, and an online musical theater coach. So if you would like to check out more videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button below, turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any more videos in the future. I've got new ones coming out every single week. All right, let's find out how we get started with YouTube. How do you customize it? How do you understand how it functions and upload content so you can then share it to your students? Let's jump right on into my computer and I'm gonna show you how. So the first thing we want to do is go to YouTube. You can type it in the browser or you can go online. I am doing this now on a laptop computer. So if you're doing it on a phone, it'll be just a little bit different or a mobile device or a tablet. Let's click on YouTube up here. Here we are into YouTube or youtube.com. Go to the top right hand corner, click sign in. After we do that, we're gonna put our email in. If you already have a Gmail account, you would put your Gmail in right here. You will need a Google account to sign up for YouTube. If you do not have a Google account, then you can click create account and we'll click it for myself. And then you can set up your account right here. So if you don't have a Gmail account, don't worry, we'll do it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for a test one. And then you will have your YouTube account. We're gonna click sign in at the top right hand corner. Okay, and then it should automatically open up to your new account. Go to the top right hand corner, click on the icon, okay? And then we want to create a channel, click on that. We want to click how we're going to do this. So choose how to create your channel. Use your name or use a custom name. I'm just going to use a custom name. I'm gonna select that. Again, these are options for you. So here we are, it's telling us to set up our account. We can upload a profile picture here if we'd like to, or you can leave it just as that. You can do any picture you'd like. I do suggest uploading a picture, especially if you're going to use this for personal accounts. Okay, so we could upload a picture there as well. We could also go ahead now and start to put in descriptions about us if we'd like to, the channel description, a little bio about you or what your channel is about and then you can add links to your website. But for right now, I'm gonna click set up later just to get us going. Okay, so let's click set up later. If you wanna go through it now, you can, but I just wanna show you what it's like. All right, so here we are. Our account is now set up for this YouTube channel. We can click got it on the top right. It's given us little tips and tricks as we go. Okay, so here's my basic account. Now again, here's a reference. This is what mine looks like now, but yours will look like, yours will look like this. First thing, let's go back up to the top right hand corner and click customize channel. Now again, this is optional for you if you'd like to or not. We can click learn more if we'd like to here. Um, we are now into the new YouTube studio. We're no longer using classic studio. If you wanna click more, you can, it'll pop you over, but we're gonna keep going. All right, now, so on the, this is your dashboard area when you've clicked in. You can click on customization and that's what we're seeing right now. So. Here's the layout of your channel. You can select a channel trailer after you have videos uploaded. We don't have any videos uploaded yet, so we can't do that. Channel trailer is the first thing you see when someone pops onto your website for the first time. We have featured videos for returning subscribers. We'll get to that later on, but we need to add a video first. Okay, and then here are the uploads. So we can customize our channel if we want to, but right now, because we don't have any videos, we can't use that. Click on the branding tab in the top. Here is a couple of fancy options you can add. Here's your profile picture. If you'd like to upload a, a picture of your face or a picture that you'd like to show the icon next to your channel, you can upload that here. You can click upload, it'll pull up your desktop and you can upload any image that you'd like. Let's pick that image because 
you know, why not? <laughs> All right, so we picked that image. I'm going to raise it up and make it look nice. <laughs> All right, there's my image. Hey, that's cute. All right, next thing we're gonna do is click a banner image. This is the top bar that you see. It is different sizes compared to the desktop, the mobile, the tablet, the laptop. We click upload, it does tell you the size there as well. So let's say we're gonna pick that image. And that's gonna be my banner image, okay? Now we can make it this, you can see that's giving you the um, dimensions. So this is the safe space, we like to call it. Now you can see that it doesn't fit really well in this picture, so I'd wanna get a different size, but for just example purposes, let's choose that. So there's our banner image as well. Again, doesn't look great. If you want a really easy way to update this banner image and make it all look nice and fancy, I use Canva insider tip, but we've got something up there. Here's the watermark if you want to upload a watermark. It's the logo that you see on the right side when people click to subscribe. You have an option of uploading that. You can do like a little icon or image. You can again make that on Canva if you'd like to, or you could do um, like your name or you could make a subscribe button. That's what I have on my channel when you see, but otherwise you can just leave it blank as well. Now you can see your channel link over here. It's going to have because it's not your name. You have to wait until you have so many sub, so many um, uh, subscribers and viewers until you can change that to be your name, which is what I've done. Click the top right. We're gonna go to basic info up here. So here's my name. I can edit that if I'd like to or the way that it looks or, or whatever I'd like to call my channel. Again, if you are an actor or you're doing your, your yourself, your personal business, make sure you use your name or your studio name because that's how people are really gonna find you. Channel description. I would say type in a bio here about yourself. Even if it's just you know your nouns, your job titles, something really specific simple, but put something in here. You can add different languages, also adding links. Now, when you look at my channel here, you can see on the far right, we have different links. I have my website, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. This is where you do that. If you didn't do that already at the very, very beginning of our time together. So let's add some links to share with our viewers. So let's say this is gonna be your official website, or it's going to be your Twitter or your Instagram. Then you would put the URL in here. So what I like to do is I literally click over to my website and I type it in or wherever you want. It's just super fast for me. Copy it, go back to my channel, and then I edit and I paste, drop it in, and it has all the jazz in there. Okay, so then we click add link. Now this is, it's gonna show up in this order as well. If you wanna change the orders, you can use this little bar on the left side to change it up. Let's say we wanna add Instagram, so we type Instagram in there and then we would do the same thing. So Instagram.com slash your username and my username is Ashley Lynn Espinosa. Come find me on Instagram, come say hi. I'd love to connect with you on the Instagram. So there's my Instagram account. So we would click another one if we'd like to. You can click Twitter, you can send them to anything you'd like. So we're gonna add those. Again, you can move them around the left if you'd like to. Okay, you can do different numbers here as well. You can say which links you wanna display on the banner of your, of your channel homepage. You could just do one or two, whatever you'd like. Now, all of these will pop up on your about page. Okay, and I'm gonna trash that one because I don't want another one. So I'm just gonna have two. And I'm gonna say that maybe I only want my website to show up on the banner page. So here's my banner page. That would mean that only that one would pop up. Now I have all of them popping up right now on my account. But let's say you want these all in your description in your about section on your channel, but you don't want them to pop up in your homepage, you can have that as well. If you want people to contact you and you wanna put your email in this box, you can do so as well. I would caution you though to be private with a personal email, make sure that it's a business one because there are a lot of spammers that are unfortunately will come to YouTube and they will see your email address. So I like to use, um, my, my business one team at ashleyespinosa.com, that's what's on mine as well. So basic info, after you've done that, make sure you go to the top right-hand corner and click publish. So we have publishing that account. Now if we go to our channel, it's still publishing, wait for it, wait for it. All right, it's published. Let's go over to our channel. You can do that by going to the top right icon again, clicking on your face, clicking on your channel. 
and then it's gonna go to my channel here. Here's my image that I added. Here's that long banner image that again will look different on the mobile devices. And look, here's official website and that's on there as well. And what it did was it picked up this icon, my face image, which is built into my website. So if you don't have that built into your website platform, it probably won't show up. It'll just say official website, but when people click it, it goes to your website. Okay, if we go to the about section here in the middle, it will show anything you typed in. So your bio that you put in, any of the other links, notice the Instagram one is on here as well. And these are all now hyperlinked to your social media, which is really, really helpful for Google, getting it to link back to all the places you want to send your audience. Now, let me just show you a little bit about your page here. Here's your home page on your channel where all your videos will pop up. This is what my home page looks like. It's all the videos I've popped up and how I've organized them. Okay, then if you click on videos tab, this will list all the videos you have in order. You can click sort by on the right and you can sort them by most popular or the oldest or the new newest. But typically I have the newest popped up so I can see what order my videos are in. It's a great way to look at your thumbnail images too if you're kind of concerned about how the aesthetic looks. You can click playlists that you can um, update and create as you continue to add content. Channels are other channels that you feature on your account. So for example, I feature these channels here on mine. So if I click on my channels, you can see these are the channels that I feature on my account. Then discussion over here is any discussions that you're having with your, with your community or whatnot. And then about is going to be the section about you. Now all of this is public on YouTube. All right, so let's upload your first video if you haven't done so already. Let's click Upload Videos. Now you can select a file or you can drag and drop it. I typically like to select the file. I find that a lot easier. Let's upload a demo video. Here's from the drowsy chaperone that I did. So I'm uploading this demo video. I selected the file. Now it's going to upload at the bottom. This file is only like a minute long, so it'll upload fairly quickly. While we're waiting for it to upload, we can put a title in here in the top left-hand corner, whatever you'd like to put the title of your video, then fill out the description box so we can tell people what your video is about. Even if it's a private video for your students, it's really helpful to list what it is. All right, we are back. Our video is uploaded. You can see down the left-hand corner, it says finished processing. That video took about 20 minutes to process, but that's just because it was a high-res file. So we have our title in here, our description. You can now see that the thumbnail images pop up. So you could pick one of these, whichever one you like better, just click on it and you'll see it changes over here on the top right. Um, I will go with that one, why not? If you would like to upload a thumbnail, which I do highly suggest, you just click at upload thumbnail and it will allow you, you have to first um, verify, it asks you to, to, so you can gain access to the feature, you have to verify your phone number. Um, YouTube is really cracking down on privacy and making sure that you're not a bot and that you're a really human being. So you can verify that if you'd like to and upload your own thumbnail. But this is a great way just to get started. Just pick one of your images that you have. So here are the different playlists that you can create for your video content. Say for example, that you have a class, history of musical theater, and you want all of the videos to be in that one playlist, you can create a, a simple playlist to share with your students, or you want a performance reels playlist. You can click new playlist if you don't have what you, probably don't have one just yet, but click new playlist, add a title. So maybe it's for your acting class and then the visibility of that. Now, do you want this playlist to be public? Anyone can see it in the entire YouTube world or online, or do you want it to be enlisted, meaning only your students can see it or the people that you send that link to? If you're posting any video submission, submissions for auditions, interviews, you probably want that to um, be unlisted as well. Depends what, what your choice is. I'm gonna click this one at um, unlisted just because I'm showing you an example. Okay, so we clicked done. Okay, and I actually have two playlists. So I'm just gonna untick and just do performance. Um, the next thing you wanna make sure is if it is a video for kids, make sure you tick that. If you'd like to click more options down here and scroll through a few of these, you can, but I just wanna start out with the beginner tools. 
So after we've done those few things, let's click the far right hand corner button that says next. Okay, and then I do need to make sure I tick it. No, it's not for kids. Click the far right button next. Now here's a couple of um, things that you can dive into if you'd like to. I'm not going to go into detail in this video, but if you'd like to add an end screen, that is the final screen that pops up at the end of your video. If you'd like to suggest other videos that you have created, you can do that here. You can add it. Or if you'd like to add cards, meaning the little cards that pop up in the top of your screen, I'll show you an example right now. So in the, in the card above, you're going to find my entire playlist to all of my online teaching tutorials. If that's helpful for you, I'll, I'll set it up in the, in the card for you. Otherwise, you can probably just click next if you're new to all of YouTube. All right, here we are, last part of uploading your video. This one is really, really important. I see people just skip over this. So let me give you some tips here. Save or publish. We want to make sure that we set the settings that's going to be particular to this video for your audience. If you're an educator and you are posting content or a teacher posting content for just your students, you might want to click it as unlisted, meaning anyone with the video link can watch your video, but it is not public. I see a lot of teachers just posting it and not clicking that and then everybody can see your video content and you want to keep that private for your students. You can click private, meaning only you and certain people that you let watch it can see it. Or public, everybody in the entire world can see your fabulousness of performing the drowsy chaperone. <laughs> I always actually tick unlisted at first before I, when I upload so I can go back and check it, then I click public when I'd like to. So I'm just gonna click, I am actually gonna click Enlisted as well on this, but again, your choice. If you'd like to schedule it, you can do that here at a certain time or a certain day, that's always helpful. But I wanna click Unlisted on my example as well, and then at the bottom right-hand corner, click Save again. If you clicked Public, it will automatically be publicly posted though. That's why I pick Unlisted. All right, here is your video. Here is the link to your video. You could click this square rectangle shape on the far right hand corner. You could click copy video link. It's copied to my clipboard. And then I would edit, paste it in any email or anything for my students or any submission that I would like to use it for. You can also share your video here through social media if you'd like to but that's our video. So I'm gonna click the far right button down here at the bottom, close. After you upload your videos, you will see them on the left side. You can see all the videos that I have uploaded here in your dash for videos. And then if we go back to our channel home, you'll be able to see your videos pop up in your playlist that you created. So that's an overview of the first three steps to create your YouTube account, to customize your YouTube channel, and then to upload content and then share it with the audience that you would like to. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, please don't forget to click the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any more videos in the future. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.